Hey, it's Sweet Briar Moth. Today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of a quick show on how to make a acorn necklace. Kind of more of like a miniature spell battle that you can bring with you, or I guess you could say like a charm necklace. A replacement for a little satchel or things like that. I, I think in witchcraft there's way too many one uses um, with products that are not great for the environment so you know these aren't perfect or anything like that but it's definitely a step in the right direction and they're the most affordable things you can make so you know i would always grab an extra one or two because they are fragile and they will probably break um you need an exacto knife probably a pair of scissors too some thread yarn and some beads now i have these but you can also use things that you find in nature because you know that's the whole point uh, first step, as you can see me right here, um, you're going to just kind of carve out the middle of it. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky to get it going, but once it starts going, it is pretty fragile, so you want to be really careful not to, like, you know, break it and or stab yourself. Just word to the wise right there. And then I also, right now, noticed that I didn't do a video, like a little thing of it with the cap on. Oh, you can see I broke it on accident, but it'll be fine. Um, the caps come off really easily. You just kind of have to like wiggle them off. And once I get the inside all done, I put the cap on to see where I want my holes. You're going to put two holes in the uh, little lower part of the acorn, and then you're going to put some in the little hat of the acorn. Again, you're going to be careful, but they don't have to be perfect or anything like that. So that's, that is what I'm doing right now. At this time, I also noticed that I have paint um, on my nails, so that gray and my, it, it looks bad, but I was doing a craft earlier, and it is what it is, so ignore my gross looking nails. Alright, and then onto the cap, which is just a great angle that's definitely not blurry. It's a little bit more complicated, but look how good those holes are, oh my gosh, beautiful, perfect. There's the holes in the acorn, also beautiful, perfect. Uh, yeah, so we grab string, obviously. So I usually put the beads on first because that's going to be kind of like the weight to help hold down the top. Again, you can use whatever you have. I already had these and, you know, since I had them, might as well. So you want to put the string down into it, you know, the, t the, the top like I'm doing right there. That's fine. And then you're going to um, go through the sides and then go in and then you're going to tie them in a knot now you can you know you can tie them together and have them as one piece or you can do it individually i did individually so just knot it up a little bit and then um i do show in a second that i do end up cutting the string so that's where the scissors kind of come in to play but you do whatever works for you so yeah that's me cutting them Once those are pretty tight, then you just pull the beads down, or whatever your little weighted area is, weighted objects, That's those are words. And yeah, there it is, look how cute it is. Now, I think the beads I had, if I'm correct, I think they were Amazonite beads. I got them a while ago, I don't really remember, but they're super cute, and it looks cute, and yeah, that's it, that's, that's how you do it. It's very, very simple, easy peasy. Yep. <laughs> I will be doing a second video, probably put it out in a few days or something, on how to basically do the same thing, but make a little witch bottle out of an acorn instead of using a glass bottle. If you watch this one, I'm pretty sure you can kind of put two and two together on how to make a spell bottle, but you know, if you want to watch it, it's, it's coming. Okay, well, I'm going to stop doing nothing now. Uh, bye.